four. Oh. A deer, a female deer. Ray. A drop of golden sun. Me. A lame, I call myself. Fa. A long, long way to run. So. A needle pulling thread. La. La. A note to follow so. A drink with jam and bread that will bring us back to dough. Dough, a deer, a female deer, rain, a drop of golden sun. Me, a name, I call myself. Far, a long way to run. So, a needle pulling thread. Ma, a note to follow. So. What a sweet rendition of an old favorite, Do Re Mi, and it's made possible by Sergeant First Class Michaela Shelton. She joins us now alongside her colleague, Master Sergeant Brian Sakawa. Thank you so much for joining us. Thanks for having us. Hey, so tell me a little bit about these children, how this happened, and, and the song itself. Absolutely. Well, these are all military children. Uh, their parents are colleagues of mine, and so uh, I invite them every year to get together to make music, but you know, right now we're not really able to make music together. So uh, I thought I'd put together this, you know, sort of virtual uh, video for us to, to sing together. And it's a great idea. They looked really happy doing it. And tell me, Brian, I'm wondering about the Army Field Band and what you've done to sort of adapt in this time when we can't get together the way that we typically are used to. Sure. Well, our mission here at the Army Field Band is to connect America to its Army. Typically, we're doing that through uh, public concerts and outreach in communities across the country. But now we are doing it with a daily live broadcast on our Facebook page and YouTube channel. Can you tell me a little bit more about that broadcast and what people can see when they go to it? Absolutely. So each program we present really highlights the incredible and amazing talents uh, and professionalism of our team of soldiers here at the Army Field Band. Uh, anything from jazz to Broadway to marches, it's really something for everyone. But more than anything, uh, what we're doing is continuing to accomplish our mission of connecting with people, and especially during these challenging times, providing people uh, something of value, uh, something to inspire them, uh, something to remind them of the strength and resilience of our country, and really to let them know that their army's here for them and that we're ready to meet any challenge. And you're also taking the time to highlight local heroes and tell us a little bit about that as well and what local means in, the, in this scenario. So yeah, local is Baltimore. Local is anywhere that anyone is tuning into the broadcast. So we're going to ask people uh, to nominate heroes in their local communities, and they can do that by tuning into the broadcast and leaving a comment, uh, and then we'll uh, hopefully highlight some of those people in uh, future broadcasts. I love it because it is local, but when you put it on social media, it, it reaches everywhere. So it's nice that you can uh, make a small community a larger community. Absolutely. And Michaela, I'm wondering how people can watch and find out more. Where should they go and what should they do? Of course. Well, if anyone can tune into our website, armyfieldband.com, to check out our schedule for upcoming broadcasts on YouTube and Facebook. Okay. And are we going to hear any more from the kids? I really hope so. Okay. All right. Keep them busy, please. I sure will. <laughs> we appreciate you both being here. And we'll be right back with more Midday Maryland right after this. Stay tuned.